So this is an Ace Prestige. We're going to take you around the van and show you how it operates. Front of the van, the jockey wheel, hitch and handbrake is stuff we go through in person here on site. Front of the van, you've got two gas bottle tie downs and you can carry a maximum of two six kilogram propane gas bottles on board the van at any point. Um, it does have to be two, so it's a maximum of 12 kilos gas, but it does have to be in two six kilo bottles if you're going to carry that amount on board. Up on the bulkhead, you've got the gas regulator itself with a yellow shutoff valve here. We can supply the pipe work if you need to, while you're, if you need it while you're here on site. So the van, you've got your Truma heating flue uh, for the heating and hot water system for when you're on gas. On either side of the van at the front, you've got your wind down legs to stabilize the caravan uh, to make sure, uh, and you'd never lift the caravan with these wind down legs. They are just there for stabilizing the van. You've then got your water pump connection that comes into the side of the van, which pushes into place and locks in and your pump that drops down inside the aqua roll itself. You've then got your battery box with your quick release terminal, uh, with your battery terminals on top, and your mains power lead that comes into the side of the van. The wheel nuts will be torqued before the caravan leaves site, seeing as they've been tightened correctly, um, and they'll be done to the correct manufacturer's recommendations. You've then got your grey waste pipes coming out the side of the van, so the fresh water that comes in the front of the van has to come out somewhere and it comes out through these grey pipes on the side of the caravan. You've got your toilet flush tank here that takes three and a half litres of fresh water and a cup full of the pink fluid. Then in the bottom you have your toilet waste cassette, which you release by pulling up the orange handle and pulling the cassette towards you. The neck here turns out to lay tip the waste away and you've got an orange pressure relief button on the back of the cassette so the waste doesn't spit and sputter back at you. You put one litre of water in here and a capful of the blue fluid prior to use. On the rear of the van, on either side, you've got your wind down legs to stabilise the caravan and they are just there for stabilising the van, they are not there for lifting the caravan. Storage locker for underneath the French bed at the rear of the van. Fridge vents, these fridge vents are there to essentially allow hot air out the back of the fridge unit and also allow gas, uh, any, anything out of the gas system when the fridge is running on gas. You've then got a 230 volt socket so you can plug power out to your awning. Storage locker for underneath your front seating, a wind down leg on this side of the van and your barbecue gas point. On the inside of the van, it's very simple to use. You've got the door, if you go in, you've got your main power control so you've got power on. You've then got your water pump run, you've got your lights to say that you're connected to mains power. Indicator on the car if you're connected to the car as well that illuminate red to let you know you've got the power source is connected. Leisure battery voltage on the left hand side. View levels will bring up the levels on either side here. Um, and then you've got your water pump run, which I'm going to come back to in a second. So to fill the water system, we're first of all going to need to uh, go underneath the seat on the right hand side front of the van and find the yellow drain down valve. The yellow drain down valve that you see down there is the drain down valve for the water system on board the van. If that valve is pointing upright towards the bottom of the seat, it'll actually drain all of the water off the system. And if it's parallel with the floor, you are able to fill the water system up on board the van. So to fill the system up, you'll come over to every tap on board the caravan and open them all up on the hot side. As you can see, I've already bled the water system. So you'll open them all up on the hot side. So that's a tap in the kitchen, tap in the washroom area, and the tap on the shower also. So I'm all them taps open on the hot side with the yellow valve parallel to the floor. At that point, you can come to the control panel above the door, hit the water pump switch, and the water system will start filling because all the taps are open, so the pump is running. Once you've got water running out of every tap continuously, as we have here, you can shut all the taps off in the caravan. But you need to make sure water is coming through every tap before you do that. Um, because if you haven't got water coming through every tap, you potentially run the risk of warming up the hot water tank with, any, with little water inside of there. Once you've done that, you can come to the control panel for the heating and hot water. Now above the door up here, you've got the icon in the top right hand corner here for your internal room temperature. So you can set the, uh, the room temperature to up to 30 degrees. For now, we're just going to turn it off for now. But you'd set it by pressing the central button to set the temperature. The next one across here is the water temperature. You've got water off, eco or hot, and you've also got boost for when you're showering on board the van. Again, you'll select one of these by hitting the button and it will select the, the temperature of the water heating as you need it to be. Next one across here is the amount of power you've got coming to the caravan. So you've got gas, mix one, mix two, which is gas and electric. Mix one is also gas and electric together. Electric one, which is 1000 watts of power on its own. 
and electric two, which is 2000 watts power on its own. So we select electric one. On the right hand side here, we have the fan speed. So you've got vent, you select the vent option and then select your fan speed on the dial. So for instance, five, the fans will come on and it will start working as blown air heating. So you've got room temperature, water temperature, power coming into the caravan and fan speed. Down the bottom here, you've got the option to run uh, timers for your heating and hot water system. So they'll kick in when you want them to essentially. On this side here, you've got the clock to set the time for the control panel. So if you are using the timers, you can set that. And then you've got some advanced options in the end here that we do recommend that you read the manual for to set these. That is the same with the, uh, with the timers and the setting of the time. If I try to take them through them in the video, the video will take about two to three hours. Next up, we're gonna to go to the fridge system on board the van. Fridge system, very straightforward to use. You've got power on, on the front here. So as you can see, the fridge is now on. Use the gray button here to select the power source you want to use. So it will start flashing the icon just here, as you can see for the mains. If you, I don't know how well you can see that on there, but the mains button. You've then got the arrows here where you can select gas or 12 volt also. So for instance, we're gonna select 240 mains. You'll press the central button and then you can control the temperature when the five dots here start flashing, you can control the temperature of the fridge if should you wish so. Now, if you want the beers nice and cold, I advise you have it on the coldest setting. Press the button again, and we'll go across to 12 volt. So 12 volt is the, uh, the power source from the car you are towing with, not the 12 volt battery on board the caravan. And essentially, as long as you've got the right plug on the back of your car, the fridge will work as a cool box. Again, to set that, you'd press the gray button when it's flashing. The temperature control on cool box mode is completely irrelevant. Gas, press, the, press for it to ignite on gas and press the button again with the temperature. The gas system will self-ignite as long as the gas is turned on. If it ever failed to ignite, it'd actually flash the warning, the pilot light here, and it'd also make a bleeping noise at you to let you know it had failed. It should self-ignite on gas without any issues uh, when the gas is connected. If it does the first time you go to ignite it, not come on straight away. What we advise is you go across to the hob, grill and oven, ignite all three of those um, on all three rings also. So you've got gas flowing through to every part of the caravan. Essentially the fridge is the glass point on the gas, uh, the cooker, sorry, is the last point on the gas system. Microwave works very much like your household microwave. No differences at all there. You essentially set the timer as you would on your household microwave and allow the, the uh, meal to cook or whatever you may be warming up inside the microwave. The French bed at the rear of the caravan does lift for your convenience, so you can actually lift the bed up so you can access the storage underneath. And you'll notice there is also your spare wheel underneath there and the bunk boards for the fold out bunk in the center of the van where the dinette area is. Toilet system in the bathroom, very simple to use. You've got an electric flush on top of the toilet, which is a blue button. Don't want to stand on the shower tray because it's all been nicely cleaned. Uh, blue uh, wash button on top, so it'll allow you to flush the toilet system. You would need to make sure the toilet chemical on the outside of the, or the toilet flush tank is full before you use that. On top, where you see that little symbol, there is actually a red indicator light there to let you know when the toilet waste cassette is full. The toilet does turn for your convenience. Um, so you're not having to be stuck between the wall and the actual toilet itself. That turns through 180 degrees. However, when you are removing the toilet set from the van, you do need to make sure it's pointing straight across towards the loo roll holder um, before you try and remove the cassette from under the van. The reason being it has two lockout tabs on it that lock the toilet cassette in place if the toilet's turned. Underneath the toilet, you have a grey waste handle which you need to push across towards the back, the back panel of the caravan to allow the toilet waste to go in the cassette underneath the van. That is essentially how the toilet system works. Sinks, showers, etc. on board the van all work like your household items as long as you have filled the systems correctly. If you have any further questions on the Swift the Ace Prestige, please do give us a call here at the Caravan Company and we'd be more than happy to help. We thank you for your business and we look forward to seeing you here on site when you collect your caravan. Thank you for now. Bye-bye.